welcome back to our channel it's your girl terry and i am so glad that you decided to join me today for another video as you guys know we don't make content on our channel unless we are sure that it's being inspired by god and also we have been super busy i myself am currently visiting family in new jersey and so we've just been delayed in making videos however in devotions i was very sure that this is a video that i was supposed to make so this video is specifically for former Seventh-day Adventists. I know for sure that when I was transitioning in out of the Seventh-day Adventist organization, it would have been really helpful if I had someone to recommend good resources that were biblically based and biblically sound to help me. And so this is hopefully what this video is for you. So here are six of my top resources for former Adventists who are transitioning in out of the Seventh-day Adventist organization. And by God's grace, I believe that if you diligently seek these resources, they will be of a great help in helping you on your journey to truth and freedom and in the pure gospel of Jesus Christ. So let's get straight into it. My first recommendation is a book written by Pastor D.N. Canwright. Pastor D.N. Canwright is particularly fascinating to me because he actually knew Ellen White and James White personally and spent time with them. He was a pastor in the Seventh-day Adventist organization for 22 years and he ended up leaving the church. Before his death, he wrote a book called Adventism Renounced, and this to me serves as almost a first-hand account into all the atrocities that took place in the foundations, the beginning stages of the Seventh-day Adventist organization. I love this book. Now, I am showing you a screenshot of all the chapter titles. My favorite is actually chapter 7 about the sanctuary doctrines and the investigative judgment this is a book that i highly recommend the link for this book will be in the description box below my second recommendation is dale rasloff's book cultic doctrine now dale rasloff was a pastor in the seven day adventist organization for 12 years he taught at the monterey bay academy which is an adventist school with his wife but he started to find issues with the doctrine of the investigative judgment, which led to his departure from the Seventh-day Adventist organization and led to the book Cultic Doctrine. You're seeing a screenshot of some of the chapter titles, and I find his book fascinating. Some of the chapters that I particularly enjoyed were those on the investigative judgment, 1844, and the shut door doctrine. I highly recommend this book. Another thing I love about this book is that it is loaded with footnotes. And as a person that loves to study well, for example, this quote, you can see that it has a little hyperlink number seven. If you tap on it, it takes you to the actual footnote where you can find the quote. So you can go back to selected messages and you can, you're actually able to find the quote from the book. And so if you're looking for a book to start, I recommend this one. It's an easier read than Dean Can Write, but they are both wonderful books to start out with. My third recommendation is actually a YouTube channel and it's called Former Adventist, ran by Richard and Colleen Tinker. I found this channel quite a while ago and I found that its content is very rich. One of the things I like to do is go straight to their playlist and you can see they have multiple conferences and each conference has different topics that they addressed. One of my favorite is uh, Corleen's uh, video regarding Adventism has the wrong priest. I would highly recommend that one. But there's a host of resources on this uh, website and you can go by the leading of the Holy Spirit and I believe you'll find truth and a pure gospel preached on this channel. Now, my next recommendation is also a YouTube channel called Academy Apologia. And let me just say, I love this YouTube channel. I love this content. One of my favorite things about this channel is that the author of the channel always uses original text. So if it's a book, that book came from the 1800s, like it's the real deal. 
He always has sources that you can follow up with and look into yourself. And I absolutely love that. Among my favorites were his video that he did on the three angels messages and also his video that he did on present truth. So I recommend you go to that channel and check out some of the content and be led by the Holy Spirit. My next recommendation is Elsa Thunder Lawrenson's YouTube channel. And his channel is a little different. He is not much of a graphics guy, but the content is just as rich, highly well researched. When I watch his videos, I have a notepad or my um, on my iPhone, I might use my notes and I just write things down, write the quotes down so I can go back to them and have them for reference later on. So although he's not a graphics guy, his content is extremely rich. It's well researched and it's extremely thorough. So I do recommend this channel as well. Finally, my last recommendation is a website called truthandfables.com and I believe this website is also ran by Dale Rasloff. What I love about this website is that it's very well archived and also when you go into research, I love how it gives the Seventh-day Adventist arguments and their understanding as well as giving information that is a response to the Seventh-day Adventist uh, understanding. So it's really thorough. So you get to see both understandings at the same time. I also love the great emphasis on the use of scripture on this website. And I love how at the end of it, I can have a full biblical understanding of various topics. So the link for this website is going to be in the description box below. That's it from us, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love you. We hope this video was a blessing for you. And as we always say, guys, have fun, have faith, and be free. Bye, guys.